So just ask your way and I'll answer your question. Hi, my name is Jackson Whiting, <laughs> also known as Jackie Flowers on stage. Off stage, I'm a little different for many reasons, but that's not what I was asked. So we were writing a movie, and the movie was um, had pecan sandies in it. Well, we've been actually known as Jackie Flowers and the Pecan Sandies for probably a little bit over a month, maybe a month and a half. We made the Twitter maybe three days before our actual first show, and yeah, that's about it. This is where I thrash. Okay. That's, that's, that's I, my quote. I hate being a Pecan Sandy. <laughs> no, seriously though. I like being a Pecan Sandy just because the other people in the band are much more fun. We're serious, but we don't take it seriously to the point where people hate us. And it's always, we have a great time on stage together and we all have pretty good chemistry. It's, it's fun. I've always wanted a group of my own, and, and to be honest, I've been in a couple groups before that I've formed, and they never really felt right until... The Pecan Sandies was formed originally by myself and Lane, or Lazy Eye if you prefer. You know, actually, we... I mean, we've, we've been friends a while. We thought we were gonna like make movies together, but it never worked. So we just got together and made a rock band. You know, sometimes life works in mysterious ways like that. And then we were lucky to be paired up with Triple B slash uh, Ben Woodford, who plays the bass guitar. And you know, never have I seen or been in a group that's worked so well and has such a you know just detrimental stage presence that people just can't sit still, you know? And that's that's what sells us. September 3rd, 2013 was our first show. So, we have, yeah, that one. Well, at first, it, Jackie Flowers and the Pecan Sandies just flows together much better than just the Pecan Sandies, because I mean, it's not that he's, I mean, yeah, he is our front man, but at the same time, we all have our own thing. We've all sang different songs on stage, and we've all fronted at some point. Just the name itself just sounds pretty classy. We've talked to about, about just changing it to the PK and Sandys, but it's not as, I don't know, it's not as fun. That's about it. Are you ever going to grow your hair out again? <laughs> Maybe. Um, it was a great time in my life, actually. I should probably grow out again if I... Am a true member of Pecan Sandy's. Well, where's my foot? <laughs> I don't know, probably about 130. <laughs> well, it depends on your definition. Yeah, I mean, that's just Twitter followers. Actual Pecan Fandies, like the two guys behind you, they, they're, <laughs> PK, they're, they're hardcore Pecan Fandies, but they don't have Twitters or anything, so I mean, or like us on Facebook. But it doesn't mean I'm not a true fan. I still love everyone equally. Even though I'm not a true fan, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> This right here is Evelyn, and you know what? She's always been there for me. I have a lot of guitars, don't even get me started. And actually at first I wanted to play a different guitar every show, but the most recent show I was about to play my 12 string guitar, and it didn't feel right on stage. So I went home and got this guy, or girl rather, and I love it, and it feels so right, you know, it's like, it's like a third arm. See, that's really what you want a guitar to be, is to feel like your third arm, a part of you, you know? And I almost feel like we resemble each other or something, you know? Because we're so in love. And, I mean, this guitar is not even set up or anything. This is straight from the box, and I love it. Sure, it's got some problems, but I've got problems too, and it looks beyond that to love me. So I should love it for who it is. The only reason I even got a bass guitar, I was in seventh grade, and my older brother played guitar, and so I was like, well, I want to do something musical, so I got a bass guitar, and it was easier, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> that's, that's where we are. Well, Cher has always been one of my favorite singers, well, female singers, that is. Uh, and, I don't know, she's just so influential in what she does. I mean, she does kind of sound like a man, which, and I kind of sound like a woman, so we kind of meet in the middle, do you know what I mean? And that's that. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um... Out of all of them, I think I've had the most fun doing either the Ramones or the White Stripes. I had a good bit of fun doing a Macklemore cover, but that all just went terrible. Probably Ben Woodford. 
Yeah. He's great. He, he's a really bad actor. <laughs> no. He has great character, so. My favorite era? I don't even know. I don't even know what the era most of these songs are from, to be completely honest. And so I just know it's like 80s and that. Sorry. We've done one 80s song. <laughs> I know, no, I know, so, I know like the general area of most of them. No, besides, besides thrift shop. I'm like, I know I'm a believer was the 60s. I know Wild Things 60s. I know uh, Ramones was like, that was 70s. Wasn't it? Yeah. But we mostly do 60s songs. We're, I feel that you're versatile. We're versatile enough to be able to do whatever. And that's another thing I really like about being a Pecan Sandy, is that nobody else shines each other, and we all have very broad tastes in music. And that As you say, no one else shines each other, you take the camera spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well, there's a light on the camera, no wonder I'm shining it right. My eyes are glossy. Anyways, um, no, uh, but that's the, that's the thing, is that we're all pretty open to any type of music, and you, you don't always find that in groups these days, so. That's what sets us away from the rest. I don't know if that had to do anything, but it does. It does. Thank you. Do you even like pecans in the no. cookie? No, I really no. don't. Well, I hate the cookie. I hate pecans. I hate all nuts, to be honest. My favorite part about performing would definitely be looking out at the crowd and seeing the fans and what we can say, you know, clap your hands or do some wave crap and they'll do it. And it's awesome. Terrible. <laughs> Just kidding. It was uh, it was fun. It was my first show playing drums and uh, it was so weird. It, <laughs> even though it wasn't the best show, it was still a lot of fun. Definitely. Right now, I'm not in a relationship, but I have three kids and a woman asking for alimony. Well, well, my boyfriend Ben, you know, he's the bassist in the band. <laughs> uh, <laughs> quite a close relationship, you might say. Um, <laughs> I was involved in the uh, the movie. After we always want to be close. Speaking to people's sweet dreams. That's true. Sweet dreams. Now everybody give it up for the Pecan I can't say anything on camera. Though, it might just be <laughs> this is the biggest fan. She is the biggest fan. We effect on the Become a pecan. Oh, I'm sorry. Become a pecan fan. Thank you. Thank you.
for coming out here tonight. And now we're going to do our roll call. All right, here we go. In case you haven't heard, I'm Jackie Flowers. And if you didn't hear about 20 minutes ago, I'm Triple D. I don't know what it stands for. It's weird. And on the keyboard, we got Lazy Eye. Back on the drums, be quiet, he doesn't have a microphone, so he's gonna have to shout. Hi, I'm PC. What's up? We don't want to strain his vocal cords too much. Anyways. Alright, and now I guess we're gonna go into our next song. That'd probably be a logical choice. Oh yeah, it's Oh yeah, um... <laughs> We'd like to announce that this is going to be our last show of all covers, so... Woo! Yeah, hopefully yeah, we'll have some... Yeah, yes! Big announcement, big announcement. We'll still incorporate, but this will be the last one of all covers. We're terribly sorry. Um, hi, how's it going? I'm Jackie Flowers, no autographs. <laughs> Quote worthy. Um, be true to yourself. Okay. Don't let anyone tell you you can't be anything this or is not. What? I don't know what else to say. All right. Well, this last song is what we usually close with. And for a favor, if we can get everyone that was in the man show up on stage right now to jam out with us, Tyler talks to George. Leo, Ethan, Dylan Smith. Where's Dylan Smith at? Where's the little kid? I can't remember his name. Levi. 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 Where's Levi? Levi. 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 Well.
Sometimes, after rehearsal, we like to come down here and just, just relax because the everyday stress of recording and writing is, is deep, you know, we... <laughs> All of this existed until like five minutes ago. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> we knew here. Never mind. Yeah. But, I mean, and we're all pretty good friends now. We were kind of friends before, but like, not really. I mean, like... It was like, I knew Jackson, I knew Lane. Right, we knew each other, and like, me and Lane were friends before... Pecan Sandys, and, and, and he and Logan were friends before the Pecan Sandys. So in some sense, it is split, but it's also integrated, you know? Yeah. Like, look who showed up. Us two, you know? Well, actually, I showed up. He already lived here, so. That's true. But, I tell you, though, it, you know, it's been said a million times by other people in bands, but it's like a four-way marriage, you know? Everyone has to have the same goals, or else it doesn't work. It's also hot. Very hot. Four men. Oh, yeah, I mean, especially us. <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the future with the Pecan Sandys because it's such an exciting time to be a group, you know, and it's, it's an exciting time to be a Pecan Sandy and it's an exciting time to be a musician. But then again, what time is it? So, we are recording. It's either going to be at the end of November or the beginning of uh, December, not February. But yeah. Yeah, February might be a little bit far off. I mean, any guy who tells you they joined a band to like, you know. Make money. Make money or, uh, you know, change the music world is completely crapping you because the only reason people make bands is to meet girls. So. You know, and my influence range from everybody to, from Paul Stanley to Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, you know, it's. And you have to be broad in order to Elton get John. anywhere. He didn't do it for women. El Elton John, what, well, in the beginning? I don't know. We'll have to ask him. Maybe we'll interview him. <laughs> we'll get a song with Elton John. Songwriting is universal. Once you write a song, you know, it's there forever. It means so much to people. And that's, that's what I think is so crazy. Like, there's songs that mean the world to me. And the people who wrote them don't even know I exist, you know? Like, that's wild. I just want my music to do that, you know? Thank you. 
I like to watch baseball. I like to read books. I like to um, write. I write plays and stuff. I like to write movies and books and whatnot. But I like to watch baseball too. I know I already said that, but I mean it's so big in my life. Kayaking, I kayak a lot. I, I garden, you know. But I don't really do, you know, I don't, I don't cook or anything. So, hmm. okay. I guess that's it. My favorite pastime would probably be uh, Pokemon. It's my guilty pleasure. It's uh, it, I've consumed a lot of. It, it's consumed a lot of hours in my life. From so it was my first video game ever. I was like three. I got a Pokemon Red version. And I've just been keeping up with it ever since I was a little tyke. You know, I mean, you know, I got Omni, always. It's always fun. That's something I don't like to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who cares? It That's why he kept looking at me, because he, he knows and he knows it hurts me. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't, doesn't make me mad. Let's it's see just... if we got famous, you know how many nerds would love us? <laughs> because of you? They'd, they'd be like, you. dude, he plays Pokemon! I just said, Holy sh I just said it makes me mad, so they'd hate me. <laughs> I don't Dude, Jackie Flo is such a hater. Triple B, <laughs> Pokemon Master. When I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. to know about you? To know about me, mm -hmm. specifically? That I care for them all so much. And I know that's so generic, but I really do, you know? I would be nothing without them. I would just be some idiot with long hair and a guitar, you know? Who can't sing? But, since I have fans, they think I can sing, you know? And I just, I really respect people who deeply care about bands, you know? Whether it's mine or anyone else's, but specifically mine. Um, I also want them to know that I work hard and that I don't try and exploit them. And also that, you know, that they too can become like me, do you know what I mean? Not just me specifically, or they too can follow their dreams and reach them, you know? If, if some of them want to make a band, then go for it, because we'd love to have you as an opening act. Thank you. Yeah. What's your biggest insecurity? Probably my singing voice. Really? To be completely frank, yeah. My voice is probably my biggest insecurity because that I just, I don't think I've really learned how to really use it yet. And I feel that everyone in the group is better than me. So that's why I let them sing a lot. But they always want me to sing. I don't get it. What's your biggest insecurity as a musician? I guess my bass playing skills. I'm very, I'm still kind of new. I wouldn't say new, I've been playing it for a while, but I usually put it down and I don't start playing again until I find a new band or if I, you know, do something. But I've definitely learned a lot from being in this band. I know a little bit more about music theory and all that, you know. You don't have to be like, oh, it's seventh fret, fourth string anymore. I can, you could kind of just say G and I've learned. Don't wanna hear about it. Every single one's got a story to tell yeah. Everyone knows about it From the Queen of England to the hounds of hell And if I get you
I guess my, uh, I had my first girlfriend in seventh grade. Uh, got my first kiss then. I also got my first fight in seventh. Seventh grade was a big year for me. And then I dated a Colombian chick. Um, shoot. That, that was a different story. The next day I told her my mom got hit by a car and I wasn't, I wasn't ready for a relationship. That was, uh, oh that, that was how long that relationship ended. Or lasted. Very, uh, it was very whatever. I dated a girl named Erica for five months. She was probably my first ever serious girlfriend. And then I, uh, I dated another girl for three years. And now here I am, just being myself. God. My small girlfriend, Catherine. Now let's, uh, let's go to Jackie. Let's go to Jackie, Jackie Flowers. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I have not really been in a big serious relationship because that's been my own choice, you know? It's just been affair after affair after affair after affair, you know? So many infidelities, you know? Uh, I guess it's not infidelity since I'm not married. Or what is infidelity? I mean, I'm Jackie Flowers, you know? Nothing can hold me down. Nothing can hold me back from who I want to be. I think that's really what I mean. Um, you know... You know, I'd be with women and I'd be like, you know. I'm not saying that you're not pretty. All I'm saying that I'm not ready for any person, place, or thing to try and pull the reins. If anyone can name that song, that's another thumbs up for you. Okay, I'll tell you what that was. That was Mike Nesmith, different from Mike Nesmith was a member of the game. Lynn Ronstadt also sang that song. Anyways, uh, I can tell you the albums too, but we're not going to. And. What about you? I don't know. I mean,. Like, that's something I try and keep private, you know? That's why... We need to keep it private now. Well, I mean, this is technically private. I mean, if we don't get famous. But if we do get famous, you want to show everyone. But I don't want to embarrass people, do you know what I mean? I wasn't really active in that kind of thing up until high school. So, I got to high school and I was a girl number one, and, you know, it happened. And then, I was with girl number two, and I met girl number three, and then... Uh, and that's where one of our songs is going to and, and then I was girl number four, and then I was with girl number five. I actually went to homecoming with girl number five one year. And then um, now, now I'm just trying to settle down, you know? I know that's not really me, but... So I was settled down, but I have an actual girlfriend. Right, right. I think so down might not be the right one. Yeah, I'm you're junior in high school. In yeah. high school. <laughs> I'm trying to get married. They would always buy me nice things and take me to concerts. You think I'm joking, but I saw Ellie Goulding. Give me money. <laughs> Group love and something else. I don't even remember. But that concert was really like big news for me because that was a time like when I was off and wasn't in a band and didn't think I wanted to be. But then I saw that and I'm like, like, those people are, are like fresh faces and they're so close to fame. Like, I can do that, you know? Smoking in the boys' room. Seven by three or nine.
And that's another thing, we have big personalities, you know, and I'm just going on and on, but personality is key when you want to do anything. Even if you're just making a record, people will hear your personality if it's there in evidence. And if it's not, people won't care. Um, my mom is from Ireland and my dad is from England. They met in Greece. They've got the funny accents and such. I have one older brother and one little brother, and so I'm the middle child. My older brother is very big into music as well, which is kind of how I started doing anything musical. Um, my little brother's a football player. But, I mean, I spend most of my time doing, you know, playing music or just video games or just chilling out, really, just watching The Office, favorite show. Um, that's pretty much about it. I have a dog and a cat. My dog's 14 and his name's Sparky, and my cat is five months old, named Alice. And that's how I basically live my basic life. I didn't really have a rough childhood or anything. I'm a pretty fortunate child. I think just making a record would be cool, you know? And it's not exciting anymore. Music is not exciting because it's always around you, do you know what I mean? Back in the day, I don't really know, but I figure that it was so, you know, like it, there was only the radio and records and television where you could see music and that that way it was so like sacred, you know what I mean? It was hard to find, it wasn't as common as going on the internet and pulling it up on YouTube or something. I'd like to be remembered as a part of the Pecan Sandies because, I don't know, I, I, we've already talked about it before, we're like, what, what we want to happen is we become big and then stop after like 10 years and then we all have our own solo stuff going on. And I feel like, you know, you, you look at the Beatles, and it's like they all split up and then each one had their own thing. I feel like if we split up and then I just became like a rapper, I thought I, I, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> but, more realistically, I don't know, really anything. I, as, you know, as long as I'm remembered in the music industry, and I mean, mainly part of the Pecan Sandies, more than anything, I'm okay. Um, we've actually thought about it or at least I have, into some depth. I know there's other groups called the Pecan Sandies, but it's different because A, we're Jackie Flowers and the Pecan Sandies professionally, and we have two E's at the end instead of I-E. Um, I've thought about just shortening it to the Pecan Sandies or just the Sandies, you know, like the Beatles or something, because the Pecan Sandies is a mouthful, but I still love it, you know, because it's different. It's named after a cookie, which is weird, and we don't even like the cookie, but that's just who we are. And I, you know, I would never change the name. I... If I could ask any question to my favorite musician, I would ask, why do you smoke? Because my favorite musician is Anthony Green, and he has such a beautiful voice, and it's, lately, he smokes a lot, and you can kind of hear it as time goes on, and he makes more albums. It's like, oh, you're getting a little bit worse. Stop it. Everyone says, we're, we're like um, garage rock almost. We're almost our own thing. We're just going to call it electric soul music. There we go. Electric soul. We're electric soul. That is our genre. We played three shows. All of them have been at school. And they've been all cover shows, which I guess we're... Which, which is fun. That's fine. You know, we haven't done it. We haven't actually played any real giant venues. Or not giant, but any real venues yet. So we haven't really had a purpose to play any of our own stuff. But once we record this EP, we'll, 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 we'll probably have an EP release show at some point. And why some people are so afraid of, you know, their success and they don't go out in public because everyone takes their pictures when they're celebrities, but that's part of it. And, you know, if you don't like that, you don't deserve it. Your fans would do you a favor to not be your fans anymore, you know? And so why even bother? I can't wait for people to take my picture. And I mean, not to be vain or anything, but... It's just something I've always dreamed of, so when that comes true, that'll be big. I guess what mainly inspires most of our songs is women. <laughs> Even if they don't exist, like, it could just be a total non-existent woman. Um, and then we have, like, the occasional song that's about something else, like Rock On is just about living, you know, a party life in the 60s. Um, it's pretty much about it. My biggest fear musically would be, I guess, if we got famous and then broke up over like something bad, like we all ended up just hating each other. I'd hate that. Because like even after we broke up, I'd still want to hang out with everyone and, you know, live life. 
Just because we're not a band doesn't mean we can't, you know, still, you know, be around. I really just want to get, I want to play one massive show, just in front of like millions, and then call it quits, and then come back like five, six years later for a reunion show. Maybe, maybe later than that, like what, 10 years even? I, I don't know. 15? I mean, that would be... That would be awesome. That'd be my favorite thing to happen. So wait, what's Logan? What's Logan's name? Dwayne. Why? He's gonna. He has, to have, name. he has to have a cool <laughs> last name. Like, see how Triple B and Lazy are nicknames, but Jackie Flowers and Dwayne, whatever he thinks his last name are. Like he kind of missed out on the name making. So he'll just yeah. So he, I like the name uh, Dwayne Diamond. Dwayne Stevenson. It needs to be kind of like a noun, you know, like because yeah. I'm flowers, so it could be Dwayne Gold, Dwayne Silvers. Which one is Nadine? My mom's? Yeah. It could be Dwayne. Dwayne Stone. Dwayne Cloud. The rain cloud? I'm pretty sure they won't let you take that camera inside. Really? Yeah. Plus, I don't want people to know that I go to fast food places. I don't want people to know that we eat. Yeah. Uh, he could be. I don't know. I feel like he should figure it out. Yeah. We all kind of figure out our own names. <laughs> the whole band is a blooper. No. <laughs> hey. I'm just putting on some makeup. I'm sorry you have to see me like this. Why don't we get ready, shall we? Oh. So, by the time I entered the 11th grade of high school, <laughs> I was ready to be a superstar, and I was a superstar in my own right. But to be quite honest, I had nothing going for me. Until... I met three guys known as PC, Triple B, and Lazy Eye, and we formed what is going to be known as the Pecan Sandies. Right now, we haven't done anything major, but who knows? The future is bright. Thank you. I, I love Catholics. You remember that? Massage my shoulders. No! Massage them. My ears are ringing. Are you recording still? No. What? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You viewers at home, just keep in mind. <laughs> stay away from strangers. This, this is very funny. <laughs> About a month. It died. <laughs> oh. <I think> <laughs> Yeah. That's how I felt like, I felt like I was closing a church choir when I was there. Anyways, we want to take a step in reverse and, uh... <laughs> okay, stop, 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 okay. stop, 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 She could all easily come. And that's the end of that one. We bought five banana hammocks last year for Andy's birthday. We're gonna get in my pool with them. Really? Yeah. yeah. Alright, they gave you for my birthday. <laughs> Jackson could be our fit. Why do you have... <laughs> this is gonna be like a bonus feature. <laughs> <laughs> The XXX the bonus feature where you tell the true story. Yeah, the cheese fruits. <laughs> the cheese fruits. <laughs> what? Like, I know. I, I'll just say lame. All right, are you recording now? Yeah. Keep oh, going. Just keep going. Okay, so you're gonna cut that. Yeah. All right, <laughs> marker. No <In> pains. <laughs> Can we sign this over? Because <laughs> I, I I I can't say Matt, Matt but I'm, I'm, I'm like <laughs> on the verge of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Wrong it was question. Bad. All right, let's start that over. Are you in love? <laughs> it took you. you that long to think Only of that question. You. Thank you. <laughs> Remember is um, that Jesus loves us. Oh, oh, you're you're wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Um, Still recording? Yes. <laughs> How many? <laughs> I have I have another question. What is this? <laughs> ben, is that yours? That's Ben's poster. Miles yeah. got it for me for my birthday. Why? Why do oh, you don't have a Justin Bieber picture? Why? My friend got it for me as a gag gift for my birthday. Is it really got good here? Look at that, we gotta hang this. That has to go in his room. I'll take it. We're gonna hang posters all around. You don't deserve it, Logan. You actually like it. Hey, you know what would be funny? We hung posters of ourselves. Thank you. You know, that's probably a story for another day. It does. Thank you. When we go back and watch this, it's gonna be so embarrassing. Like, if my kids ever see this. We'll keep it just for us. We'll have Blue Man as a P-Camera unit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like we already have three kids, I'll right? I'll leave your dad. Alright. 
Who's next? I mean, just look at the wilderness around you and look how it changes, you know? Seasons change and people change. And that's the beauty of life right there. Now we're the peak Aunt Sandy. And now we're the peak Aunt Sandy. It's <laughs> the thing, you know? Songwriting is universal. Once you write a song, you know, it's there forever. And I don't know how long you're gonna be around, but you might see our characters grow. Things. Maybe we should wait until yeah. <laughs> This may take a while. Gentlemen, <laughs> hey. <laughs> they seem like cool guys. Well, at least my hair looks good. <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it. it is, it is. We should ride out here. Let's bring all our ghetto acoustic instruments and just go crazy. <laughs> it is on your face. Is it really? It is like. <laughs> yeah, you I can know. ask Ben the dumb questions. <laughs> Okay, good time to talk about your family life. Oh, I don't want to get into that. Okay. <laughs> ben, it's your time. Ben, your turn. Actually, one of the monkeys used to do this. Peter Tor. Hmm. Look at that. Mm. Should we use names? No. Um, what do you mean? Because they're going to look back and see this in 20 years and just... Be embarrassed. You know? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see Isn't this. that like the whole point? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if we get famous, then the whole point is we're gonna see this in theaters. If we don't get famous, then we're gonna get together one night when we're like 40 and watch this and, and cry. And, and cry. <laughs> because our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until my tell all autobiography comes out in 30 years. <laughs> um, no, but he gets all the ladies. It's he not really fair. does. <laughs> it's like, yeah, hi, I'm Jackie Flowers. Yeah. Hi, I'm Triple B. Woo. Hi, I'm Lazy Eye. <gasps> <laughs> this is a uh, fashion trend on guitars. I'm starting, s trying to start at least. I like rocks. I don't date girls. I date women. Okay, what? And send us a fan letter with the title of the song, and you'll get your free complimentary Pecan Sandy Fandy badge. Pecan Sandy's in the curse of the electric wind. <laughs> you know, and if you, you have like, I'll shoot lasers out of my eyes or something, and <laughs> by the power of the cosmic rays. That would be so funny. I don't have a job, so yeah. my only job is rock and roll. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was unpleasant. That's a hernia. <laughs> yeah, we love the main. I don't even know who the main is. See, that's why I don't reveal my real last name, you know? Flowers? Well. <laughs> the Pecan Sandys, I've never pooped. <laughs> Seasons change and people change. Thank you. 